Hayes is here. Off the handle, it is a foul ball. Yanks play at Boston next week. Games remaining to be played become important. In fact, they are so important that our game of the week, we are, we're going to wait till the middle of the week before we make a decision. There are three games that we're going to choose from. Of course, they all involve Baltimore, Boston, or the Yankees. That's where the race is. We could either be in Cleveland, Detroit, or, or Toronto. Toronto. Right. Last ball misses. One ball, two strikes. These are the exciting days in baseball leading up to the playoffs, which we'll see here beginning October 4th. And then the World Series. Up the middle, it'll be a base hit for Fred Lynn. Lynn singles to center field. This has been a very humbling season for Freddie Lynn, as he has said many times, playing with eight. two Number ankle three. injuries. One he Number got four. in spring training. Butch his effect is mobility. He doesn't hit as well. So I've never had a year like this. He said, I've just been a natural player. I don't know how to handle it. Here's a fellow who has had quite a year, Butch Hobson. 28 home runs, 100 runs batted in, and Tony, he's batted most of the time, either 7th or 8th or ninth. I'd say 8th has been where he's batted the most. And to drive in 100 runs, unreal. Curveball is outside. One ball, no strikes. A lot of the Red Sox say he is as strong as Jimmy Rice. He can be completely fooled and still hit a ball over 400 feet. And a good cut in a fastball. One ball, one strike. Yankees, 2-0, top of the third. Tidro is pitching at one hitter. Crawford is pitching for Detroit. Munson, a home run. Man on. Tidro, five starts this year. He's 4-0 oh as a starter. Third ball is a strike. One ball, two strikes, two outs. Two nothing. Baltimore leading. We're at the top of the second. Hobson has struck out 149 times, which is tops in the American League. 150 times as he goes down on strikes. Three strikeouts for Martinez. That ends the inning. We go to the middle of the second. Baltimore, two Red Sox, nothing. Here's news for those of you who came to the stadium on. Hi, this big man here, he runs on hay at Aquapura. With this baby, she runs on gas, and that's where new STP gas treatment comes in. You just pump it in your tank, and it goes to work cleaning your carburetor. It's powerful stuff. Open your mouth and say, ah, sweetheart. Watch what this machine can do to some automobile mufflers. Now watch the Sears Muzzler. The aluminized muffler that's only $19.99 installed. So tough, Sears promises the muzzler will last as long as you own your American-made car or return it for refund or replacement free. And if Sears installed it, they'll install the new one free. The muzzler, only $19.99 installed. Only at Sears. You're looking at the line coaches for the Orioles. Cal Ripken coaches at third, and Jimmy Fry coaches at first for Baltimore. George Bamberger is the pitching coach, and Brooks Robinson, well, let's just say he is the superstar because it doesn't sound right to call him a coach. In fact, the ball players let him have that line that yeah. Philander laid on him and Chope. But he didn't show up in time yesterday? Yeah. What was he doing? What did he say? He said he's out back changing a tire. <laughs> He's the oh. official tire changer. Ball players will do that. <laughs> Tomorrow will be a big day here. It's Thanks Brooks Day here, and this ballpark should be jam-packed because how many thrills he's provided. And there's Brooks. The Norman Rockwell painting will be presented to all those here tomorrow. And the guy coming to the plate is the man who's had to replace Brooks Robinson at third base and at the bat. And we asked Doug DeSensei his feelings about that. Well, uh, 
Right now, I, I'm a lot more comfortable in, the, in my situation. You know, last year was a little bit difficult with, with Brooks uh, and, and I alternating all the time. But now it's, it's been kind of a thing where Brooksy has you know, retired. And um, there are times when I make an error or something in the field that I do feel that you know, maybe that Brooks Robinson the error is behind me. But uh, uh, on the other first than that, uh, I've just learned to accept that I'm not going to be Brooks Robinson and I have to play the way Doug DeSensei can play. Here is Mark Belanger as DeCincy's bounces out on the first pitch to the shortstop, Burleson. Belanger is 13 for 38 against Boston Red Sox pitcher Bill Lee. That's a career, of course. Two for two this year, according to Earl Weaver. He said these statistics may not be accurate, but this is what he was doing before the game when I walked in. He's looking to see what his players did against Bill Lee. Belanger's the top Orioles hitter against the Red Sox. Got a base hit yesterday that drove in the first rod. Well, George Steinbrenner does it again, Tony. <laughs> Steinbrenner has bought Dave Kingman as Belanger hits the ball to straightaway center field, should be no problem for Fred Lynn. And his reasoning being that if he just wins one game or hits one home run, it'll be worth it. And Kingman has just done that in Detroit. And it's a three to nothing lead. Dave Kingman, who is really bouncing around this year, his fourth club, the Yankees, has hit a home run. Mets, San Diego, California is now the Yankees. He is the DH in that ball game in Detroit. Munson home run and a Kingman home run. Here is Skaggs. Kingman sitting on the bench is a perfect decoy for a manager. I mean, Billy Martin can just use him to sit there, and other managers are not so apt to bring in left-hand pitching against them in a pinch-hitting spot, especially in Fenway Park. Mm. Bill Lee misses with a curveball. It's ball one. So Kingman, a home run, is 3-0. Detroit Yankees are leading in Detroit. We'll pause briefly for station identification. This is the NBC Television Network. A two-run homer by Munson, a home run by Dave Kingman. is 3-0, Yankees leading Detroit. Joe, we should add this for the fans out there. Kingman has not yet signed a Yankee contract, and he may not. He may just finish out the season. He will not be eligible for the playoffs or the World Series if the Yankees get in. Two balls and one strike to count. I read a piece where it says that Harry Dalton said it's not so much the money as it is the term of the contract. They wanted to sign him for a year to just see what he could do, and nope, and so they released him. Fastball misses. Three balls and one strike. Carlos May was just picked up by the Angels on waivers from the Yankees. By the Angels. Three-one pitch. Up the middle, it's a base hit for Scott. Lee May, uh, Bill Lee, between Carlos May and Lee May and Bill Lee. <laughs> but Bill Lee almost pulled off that back-of-the-head catch, Tony. He was very disgusted that he did not make the play. It bounded right over his head. He took a swipe at it, but it slithered through. Watch this. He got the ball where he wanted. You can see the fist target down, the sinking fastball. Right there, he thought he should have had it. <laughs> Look at that effort. Look at that effort. Great picture. We've just had a correction on the Kingman home run. It is still a home run, but there was a man on, so it's four to nothing. Yankees out in front. Here is Maddox. Well hey. hit. Right field. Carbo is going back. Makes the one-hand grab. So that ends the inning. At the end of two complete innings here, it is ball.